how they do they Occupy News Network logging in from Camden. We were just in the neighborhood in Kentish Town in the solidarity space and we had to run over to this place in a Swiss cottage. Because apparently these people have just been chucked out of their homes with a one hour notice uh, because of the cladding on their building is the same as in Kensington and they're not really getting anything else than they're being rammed into the uh, library. Crisis between mess shelter set up in the library and in the community center there's some kind of press here i don't know who they are there's one camera someone talking into the light and uh, three cops just ran past us and the youngsters started chasing them but they disappeared they went to van and just drove off so this kind of confusion everywhere in the air i've been trying to contact and i think i made it through to people in kensington who's already were helping the uh, the situation there it's kind of crazy we, we try to talk to some people we just got here so we need so to get friendly with a few people maybe they have something we to come say. back later probably yeah i just wanted to log into to to let people know that this is happening in camden as far as i've heard it's like five uh, tower blocks getting emptied some people don't even leave their homes yet they don't want to leave until they they're being told how, what the hell's going on uh, apparently four to eight weeks they'll be put somewhere else in a temporary accommodation but for now this is the temporary accommodation the library and yes okay so we know that for you, you know after four or eight weeks when this when when the scandal is goes down and the people get calm then can anything happen so yeah they can they find themselves not, in yeah. birmingham or outside of london yep. because that's yes yes not rich enough and they're people of color most of the time, so what do you know? You know, shit happens, and as you can see. So people on the street, this moment, of course, it's pr probably can be very warm inside. And you know, that people had to pack in within an hour. The Nazis gave half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but, hey. Don't take this I have no word. <laughs> And it's uh, not wartime, so <laughs> if yeah. it's uh, so quick, they couldn't open, open the academy. Uh, you know, it, it's not not an earthquake. If they want to, yeah, it's not that urgent. Uh, I mean, fix the houses. Maybe they have a couple of weeks to solve out how in the yeah. hell they organize they how to, they're going yeah, to manage the people. At this moment, children just punk in an hour in the library. You know we. We even didn't try to get in as uh, occupy one of them. Probably it would be too early <laughs> introduction for the yeah. local authority. And we talked to one or two people, but we have to find someone I who wants to talk to the camera. I have a very bad sense that that it 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 you know you know how does it looks like? Yeah, it's probably part of the gentrification scheme. Or, or at least you know I'm inclined to to think something like this. And uh, looks to me, I'm not alone. The, some people look, you know, it's happy, even some fun, uh, so, some kids. But but uh, I heard everywhere the eviction, the word eviction. So uh, they not everybody feel. Yeah, too cheerful at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, especially some, uh, I saw some uh, mother, working class kind of mothers, and they were very, very nervous. But you know, I, we just arrived a couple of. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, yeah, there's the camera up there with the bright light. I don't know what kind of press they are, but it looks like a TV camera. Ah, crazy. So there's all these high-vis people, are the council people, and the, it's all being done really quietly. As along the way, we saw people in the shadows because the the council people kind of pulled the people. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, no. They, they pulled them over into the bushes and the shadows where people can't like see that something's happening. Like a proper robber. Come, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, like a mugging situation, just so people don't stop asking what's going on. It's pretty much concealed. Uh, it's crazy what's happening in this town. I also hashtagged Occupy Kensington because that's still uh, a call out for the 13th of July and onwards. To you know, there's 1,300 people, uh, 1,300 buildings in um, 
Kensington. Oh, look at that, people running up and down in highways. 1300 buildings in Kensington, and there's still something needs to be done. Oh, that's the library. Swiss Cottage Library. So there, there are the papers. So if anybody want to link up with the papers, especially the leisure center and library. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is where. Yeah. yeah. Are happening. And we shall see. I hope our senses. People are walking up and down with their stuff in a, whatever they could pack into a small uh, bag. I think the TV crew is either done or they're going to go live now. And I think they're going live. You might be able to listen in to what they're saying. Or not. It's not easy to hear. Oh yes, I can just about to hear it. Yeah, it's not a happy news feed. People are giving uh, inflatable mattresses and blankets and that's it and they've been rammed into the library and the younger people are out here trying to keep busy I think you can make anything out of that. I can just barely hear it. <coughs> She's reading it from her phone. Solidarity. <laughs> That's him as well. You bug it out, GD. Over. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what channel this is. Oh dear, we might try to make some friends and ask what the people are thinking. It's a bit hard because there is energy. Come back if you can make an interview with with, with one of the with his residents. Yeah, we might be might try to find someone and then I'll come back with another stream. Uh, or Mordecai is trying to chat someone up. <laughs> And we would like to, to make some news to, you know, the, the, the fellows that what the hell is happening, what, what, are, what are you thinking, uh, what, the, what the people thinking about Because yeah, we're trying it. to get the word out, because yeah, yeah, some people are in Kensington from our guys, trying to help there, but um, we just heard about this a few hours ago, so we yeah, ran over from the Kentish Town. Yeah. Um, from what I know, it all started off with Grenfell Tower, yeah. and so Grenfell Tower went up in flames. Uh, they realized that it had to do with a fridge that exploded, but partially the reason why. Yeah. Yeah. Give me one minute. Give me one minute, just. Go, go, you go. Where is this guy? Why are you not going to watch this? I'm going to watch this. I'm going to watch this. This is the grassroots version. Grenfell Tower went up and they said that partially. Go on it. <laughs> or you can do this one. <laughs> so this is not TV. This is the uh, Occupy, Occupy News Network. Network. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just explaining. So okay, then they realised that the reason why the flames have spread so much is because of the cladding. Yeah. And we've had all the councillors from all four of them towers uh, hold a meeting about literally. No, nah, it's not a meeting. It's like a little. 
<laughs> independent thing, I think. This yeah. is activists, yeah. It's for activists. <laughs> um, no, this is Occupy News. Let's look, it's live. It's a live stream. Um, oh, we do this when there's like a live situation. Uh, Conclusion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The blocks were fire watching. safety. It changes. Um, well, fire doors obviously. are not working properly. <laughs> huh? I'll pump it out um, to everyone that I can. The gas yeah. pipes need a material <laughs> around them to make it safer. <coughs> and they've <coughs> then decided on Friday, two days after the meeting, to hold another meeting where the council <laughs> and the fire brigade were deliberating whether to start the evacuation tonight or start it, let's say, the day after, give people some time. And the council was saying, let's give them some time. But the fire brigade said, listen, it's too much of a risk. They need to get out of now. We've been, um, li- we've been um, living in South London. A sudden risk. <laughs> I've got a oh, smartphone. I'm connected to the news. I see a notification. Breaking news. Work? He was at work, so I've called him as well. I saw well, it on after. the TV at work. I'm with my mate who also lives in I just got a message blocks. from someone as well. He lives in the tower block as well, so when I'm with my mate, I've seen it on the news and I've gone, are you seeing this? And he goes, what? We're driving back from South London. He goes, I explained to him, listen, like, we're getting evacuated right now. All right, cool. Literally right, like, yeah. one minute, breaking news, getting evacuated right now. And he's, I was like, did you know anything about this? He's like, no, I called my mate. No one knows anything about it. So we rushed back to the this area. Week, that morning, we received a letter saying that, the works that they will start. be taking uh they will they will start doing works yeah not one bit in that letter said that we're going to be moving we're going to be evacuating none of that they just said from this date in a couple of weeks we're going to start doing work. these works mm-hmm. and it's going to go on for a couple and of already weeks. i've seen the big wars the yeah. works getting delayed look something already Brother, being sure. done yeah Brother, we've been we've lived here since they put that clad in and before, all of that, even before, before, yeah. when they put that clad in, it's been what seven, maybe seven ten years? years, ten years. Two thousand six. Wow. Around ten years, they've had that. Wow. We've been living there for ten years. There's yeah. been a fire. There was a fire. It was in one house. It did not go to any other house. It did not go up. It did not go down. Wow. But suddenly, at eight p.m. at night, we it's all have dangerous. To leave. Suddenly, yeah. At least give us one day and give themselves one day. In that day, they can figure out where everyone's gonna be going. Yeah. Yeah. Find accommodation for everyone. Yeah. Then two days later, cool. Let us know this day everyone has to leave. We've got this for you. Yes. You've got this for you. I don't want to say this thing. It's very really useful. They, they, they shit it. They have some sort well, of shop um, yeah. strategy yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. Uh, but this was a very really much an ongo <laughs> because now this is going to activate a lot of activists who will know well, that it's I'm happening here as well. So sorry for the swearing, excuse yeah, yeah, yeah. my language. Oh, and this is not the TV, so it's good. Oh, okay. We <laughs> need more activists. They're ruining our lives. I think you... Okay, you heard that, guys, <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> but this is just basically ridiculous. All we're doing is getting told a bunch of lies. Yeah. And not getting told the truth. And we deserve yeah, a lot more than that. I mean, we just... <laughs> You just get taken out of your home and you're told a bunch of lies, left, right and centre and then you're not allowed back in and you're told this, that, would you do? By people would you do? do? And, and you're meant to stick. I, I, I have a few ideas but... <laughs> you heard? Uh, I might tell it I when it's still flying. <laughs> yeah, when I go offline I'll tell you a few so ideas what we can do but... Yeah. I stayed in my it's house. Just, it's just terrible. I stayed in my house last night. Oh, you stayed, okay, you heard, there's back. people I'm resisting. Like, come back? Yeah, people were back literally in by force, they weren't even police, they weren't fire brigade and they were literally telling us that by force we will take you out if you try and come in. They were guarding our doors while our families were upstairs. I had to stay out on the street to wait for it looks like a hurricane hit or something. I was sitting here, I was falling for the on that bench up there. Wow. Uh, and it's like, you're not doing it now, so why can't we go in there? Why? Because you're scared. You're scared of shit. You know? It's a bit too late for that. It's way too late for that. You should have thought about this way before that. That's what it should have done. Before all of this shit happened, you should have took your precautions because now it's a bit too late to fix your mistakes. Yeah, and so quickly. This is going to make it even worse if they do this because this is just creating more resistance. 
Oh dear. Because they're just scared. They're scared that they're going to get sued, that they're going to go to prison for this shit, and now they're trying to just fix everything, but they can't because the damage has already been done. Yeah. So many people have died. I'm sure that they're lying about the number of people that have died. Yes, hundreds of people. Yeah, hundreds of people, and they're trying to cover things up when we deserve the truth. I mean, what is the government for? Is the government for the people or for themselves? Yeah. You know? I'm an anarchist, so I'm not sure what they're for. <laughs> I don't like them too much. Leader, if, if we do have leaders, and I mean, shouldn't you lead for the people? You know, should the people deserve the truth? They deserve everything. I mean, if we put our trust in you and you're lying to us and you're just pushing us around left, right, and center, what do you expect from us? Eventually, we're all going to be angry. We're all just going to go crazy. We're not going to want you there anymore. And then when the riots start happening, you make us look like the criminals. You know? But yeah, in reality, no. We're not the criminals. People, people get pushed to certain points. After so much happens, there's only so much you can take. Yeah. And then what? It's like, you know, one of my favorite lyricists said something once. If you want to give an answer, I think that's all right. But eventually, people are going to knock on the door. They're not going to open it. Slowly, slowly, they're going to get more angry. They're going to start breaking down the doors. You know, they're going to barge through the doors. They're not going to ask anyone anything anymore. They're yeah. just going to go and get what they want, get what they deserve. Definitely. <laughs> nice, thanks. But yeah, I'll pump this out to everyone I can because this is really sudden, so people haven't reacted to it yet because everyone is now going to Kensington. We might invade a little bit there. I mean, there's, there's a plan to, to occupy Kensington and, and Chelsea, maybe claim independence. That's also in the cards. It has happened there before in the 70s, so why not now? <laughs> yeah. This was called Frestonia. I'm from Hungary originally, but I've been around for a few years. <laughs> This mostly, I mean, it's, I'll tell you later. And I think I, I'll close it down here and I'll start another one later because this, this should be enough to pump out for now. I'll, I'll be back, guys, in in a minute or so and occupy everywhere. And, and you've heard them. So, so the, uh, as we heard, the gentleman is yeah. one of one of the people who uh, who refused to leave the uh, yeah. la, uh, the uh, the flat. Yeah. And uh, I suggest. Uh, to, to everybody to to get a contact via him uh, if he uh, give you a, a detail to to contact. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, number? Okay. It's uh, a team idea. Yeah, my number is 07440303588. Anyone can contact me? Let me know. I'll bring in videos, pictures, any information I have. Okay, and hopefully it was yeah. good enough for someone That's to pick it up. Yeah, do at the moment. I'll contact you anyway. I'll, I'll say around, I'll just turn this thing off. <laughs> a second, okay, so that's it. And we're off and I might be back a bit later. And then share this, because it's happening in Camden. The, I mean, they're definitely, it looks like they're using it for some dodgy purposes. And they're really scared. So, oops. so yeah, that's it. My hand is in a weird position. Ciao, ciao. Occupy everywhere. And we're logging out of Camden.